So I finally decided that we, we need to sort of talk about Kraken. Um, and I've already had loads of people asking me and there are sort of rumours going around that Kraken has between sort of two and eight nozzles of the estimates I've gotten and that it's, you know, cooled by liquid nitrogen and crazy things like this. And so I sort of thought we'd set the world to rights and I'd explain kind of what the final specs are going to be. I've got my next to final sort of beta prototypes here and it will be going up for pre-order very soon. There are some very small tweaks to make, but this is its final form give or take a few millimetres here and there and a couple of grams here and there. But here is here is Kraken. So the key to Kraken is this cooler block. All right. Um, this cooler block here is takes some barbs go in here and we can either screw these barbs up into the top up here. So this is the top, this is the bottom, your print surface is down here got these barbs and these barbs take fairly standard hosing um, over the top like that and that hosing is for water cooling all right now Kraken isn't a mandatory water cooling product you don't have to use water cooling but if you're running a heated chamber or you want to be doing something at crazily high speeds or you want more compactness water cooling is actually a pretty good option all right so Kraken does have the ability to be water cooled and in fact the sort of a whole name Kraken comes from it being a sort of water monster multiple tentacles just like this has multiple Bowden tubes coming out the top which you'll see in a moment multiple nozzles that's the kind of reasoning behind Kraken um, so these go in the side water flows in and out there's a channel through here this channel would normally be blocked off with grub screws and Teflon tape just to seal those off there. Same deal on the top. As an option, you can have your water cooling coming in the sides and out the sides. You could, if you're really crazy, you could have it come in the side and out the top. I don't know why you'd ever do that, but it might suit your configuration if you're an absolute madman. Uh, so, it's like that. And the nozzles, they pop themselves in here like so and you'll notice that these just slide in um, so unlike the E3D V5 heat brakes which look like this with threads on them so unlike the E3D V5 heat brakes a Kraken heat brake is smooth and that's really key it allows us to get them packed really tightly because if they had to screw in you wouldn't be able to get them together so tightly um, so it allows them to get them very close Kraken still takes your standard heater block and your standard E3D nozzles that are compatible with your V4 so or your V5 um, so if you're if you've got a load of extra nozzles that you purchase or you want to purchase some extra nozzles and so on and so forth then you can use all the same nozzles it's as compatible as possible with the V5 uh, same heater cartridges same thermistors all that lot so you sort of got that infrastructure going on what makes also having these smooth heat brakes really cool is that because these can slide in and out um, it allows you to get these nozzles exactly planar. So, ooh, it's all falling out. It allows you to get these exactly planar. So what we can do is we can level the bed, and then come along and go okay, right. The bed is level, and give these a little bit of a tweak by a millimeter or so on each one. Probably less than that, hopefully, if you've got your bed level properly. Ensure that all of these are exactly planar and touching the bed and that the bed is level and then we come along to these grub screws up here and you just tighten them up and lock into place all of your heat brakes now the other nice thing about Kraken is we will be hopefully selling it um, in a sort of configurable modular fashion which means that you can get it from anywhere between two and four nozzles um, so what, what will happen is that if you order a two 
nozzle version you'll get the same cooling block up here you just won't get the heat break the nozzle the heat block and all the electronics to go with it and that means that you can sort of in a sort of modular fashion upgrade at a later date if you start with a two nozzle version you can update it to a three or four nozzle version as it go All your standard E3D stuff that you're used to remains the same on Kraken. So everything is still all metal. We've got no PTFE in the heated zones up here. It's using the same old heat break thermodynamics going on up here. So we have the same old really, really, really short thermal transition zone, which gives that reliable all metal printing that you're sort of used to with our stuff so you can expect comparable extrusion performance but multiplied by four with the option of water cooling if you want to go for fan cooling all that will happen is you'll pop a 40 millimeter heatsink onto this face over here with an adhesive heatsink pad with a with a fan on there in the final version these screws won't actually protrude from there they will be flush and you can air cool if you're only running two nozzles and you might only need one fan on one side if you're running all four nozzles at high temperatures and doing crazy things you might even need two fans going on on there if that's your thing um, or you might want to just at that point go for water cooling the other really cool thing that I want to talk about is you'll notice up here and Kraken is a Bowden only uh, hot end um, you'll notice that we aren't using these couplers um, and it's because the reason for that is that these couplers, they're bulky and they would increase the bulk of this heater block and therefore the whole setup in terms of weight and bulk and it would just become really an unwieldy product if we were using you know, these couplings threaded into there. So what we're doing is we're actually working with some industry leaders who work with uh, pneumatic fittings and uh, pneumatic tubing fixing solutions and you'll notice that and this isn't quite final this will change before the final version um, but the tubing actually slides directly and is caught directly in the top of the heat sink so that will pop into there and after it goes through pops down through this top and it'll get caught by a system which is just like a normal pneumatic fitting i.e. those sort of one touch push fit fittings where you push a tubing in and it locks and grabs it but if you want to take the tubing out you just push that in like so so you just that's grabbed and you push that in and pull it out and then you can remove that from there so it's just like the normal same operation as the pneumatic couplings you're used to but in a much much more compact package and then what happens is you'll see in the top of the heat break in there the tubing itself goes in this case it's going to need a slight change up here as well but the tubing actually slides into the heat break to about here which gives you just a really really nice smooth transition from your PTFE tubing that's held in your coupling system inside of your heat break up here straight down into your heat break and then it's from there down the heat break into the hot side melted and extruded onto your print and we're really really excited about this because this is going to let us do some really really cool things with multiple materials um, also having uh, different size nozzles in different places so you might choose to do just your perimeters with a 0.25 millimeter nozzle for extremely high perimeter detail but on uh, another nozzle you might choose to have a 0.6 millimeter extrusion orifice and you might do your infill at a very very high speed and get quite high strength because 0.6 millimeter layers do tend to weld better to one another than a thinner layer so you can do high detail at high speed with high strength um, and then you might have a standard 0.4 millimeter extrusion nozzle over here for a soluble support material like high impact polystyrene or even soluble PVA um, or you could use ABS and dissolved PLA with caustic soda. There's so much going on at the moment with the whole rep rap uh, community surrounding materials, support materials, colours, material mechanical properties, 
that it really makes sense now to start combining multiple materials into one print. Um, and this is kind of our first entry. Expect more, there's a lot of cool stuff on the way. Um, but this is our first entry into multi-material printing. It's called Kraken. It's going to look like this, give or take some very, very small subtle changes, and it'll be up for pre-order very, very soon.